can we talk a little <laughs> bit about hope? Because I know everybody in here felt something when they mm. watched that episode, felt something serious. I know I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone, you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I just want to ask, Anthony, did you feel like, and maybe this is the wrong person to ask, because I think that you're a push the envelope kind of guy, but did you ever feel like that it could be too risky or too edgy to do this early in the inception of the show an episode like that? No, not at all. Uh, you know, Kenya and I and, and Jonathan, everybody up here, we, we pride ourselves in, in, in dealing with divisive topics uh, and, and, and bringing people together uh, that wouldn't normally have the uh, the same ideology and, and sparking that conversation. Uh, I've been a victim of police brutality, so I, I know firsthand what, what that's like. And, and these are stories uh, that we've committed to tell. We, you know, we pride ourselves on being topical and timely in dealing with the issues w within our community and, and what's going on in society. And um, so I, I don't think we're pushing the envelope. I just think we're, you know, just telling the truth. Telling the truth. There were so many things about this episode that I that kind of flipped it for me, some things I didn't expect. One of the things that I thought was really brilliant and that I loved was that Junior was the one who kind of brought a real relevance with the ta Coates book and introduced everybody to it. When we don't necessarily see him like that, I thought that was brilliant. I thought it was really, really good. Marcus, was there, were, were there real world issues that you learned doing this, this episode? I definitely think that there was a lot of things that I learned from the episode, but it's, it's kind of hard not to hear about this kind of stuff sure. when it happens every single day. And my father likes to watch CNN, so I see a lot more of it. <laughs> Good uh, man. <laughs> um, so I definitely learned a lot of things about police brutality. And I think what's really cool about Blackish, we were able to start a conversation in yeah. people's households. They were able to talk to their children about, about police brutality because we, we we gave them the information, we gave them the evidence, and then they came to their own conclusions. And, and I think that's what it's all about over here at Blackish. That's a good point. I was going to ask, and I'll ask it to Jennifer. Do you think that doing an episode like that, were you trying to make a statement, or were you just trying to start a conversation like Marcus was talking about? Well, you know, I always say that the writers are the stars of Blackish. Hmm. I love you, Anthony and Tracy. <laughs> 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 the writers. The writers. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, it's got to come from the written word first. But you know, um, they have a way of of mixed, mixing the chemistry, of uh, bringing all the opinions. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we're not preaching. Right. We're not even teaching. We're just sharing. Sharing. Mm. And. In that way of addressing these current day issues, um, people will listen because they're going to hear what they feel also in yeah. there somewhere. Mm -hmm. And also, you get to laugh, and laughter being the greatest healer, the highest frequency, you know. I think mag uh, magic is happening with Blackish.